we have already discussed in part 1 and part 2 of the internal ballistic regarding various factors which are concerned with internal ballistics which means the phenomenon taking place or the phenomena taking place inside the barrel of the gun such as lock time barrel time the quality and quantity of powder their burning rate their burning surfaces and calculation of pressure calculation and generation of heat and problem associated with it as well as many others but in this module we shall discuss which have not been discussed in the earlier chapters that is recoil of the firearm the failure of the barrel and hang fire these are the three important factors which are to be considered in this module so far as the failure of the barrel is concerned it does take place due to several reason for example if we do not take proper care regarding cleaning of the barrel the rusting effect will create difficulties and will reduce the stipulated period or the stipulated number of rounds it is supposed to fire without any decrease in the accuracy of the aim these are normally 3 to 5000 rounds in case of rifle but they do get reduced and the life of the barrel does get reduced when the rusting takes place or there are any other obstructions in the barrel which can be due to either erosion or due to corrosion what i want to speak now is the erosion erosion means the thermal and mechanical stresses which are responsible for creating obstruction in the barrel and this results in the failure of the barrel normally the barrel is tested for higher pressure so that the barrel is safe for use during the course it is used as far as hang fire is concerned it is the unusual delay in the firing of the propellants which are delayed due to some reason and this delayed time is called hang fire hang fire plays a very important role especially in cases where we are discussing investigation with respect to suicides or homicide i am inclined to share with you a particular case a person on 15th august wanted to show respect to the flag which was to be hosted when the flag was hosted he took up his weapon and wanted to fire in the sky as a mark of respect to the flag which was hosted the phenomena of hang fire took place and the gun did not fire he immediately make, made it horizontal presumably to extract the cartridge and reload another one to fire but to his great surprise the gun fired and killed a young boy who was in front of the horizontal position of the gun thus hang fire varies from a fraction of a second to several minutes and plays a very important role hence its consideration is required to be made in all matters after studying this module you shall be able to 
learn the factors which affect internal ballistics. Know how the recoil of the weapon is reduced. Identify the causes of barrel failure. Evaluate the concept of hang fire. Precautions to be taken in case of hang fire. Internal ballistics. A. Internal ballistics is the study which deals with the motion of a projectile or projectiles in the bore of the weapon. Some of the factors, namely lock time, ignition time, barrel time, and combustion of propellants, ignition, density of loading, and problems of heat, velocity of projectile, pressure in the barrel, along with bullet jump and durations have already been discussed in part 1 and 2. Additional factors which concerns internal ballistics are described below. Recoil of the weapon, failure of barrel due to Obstruction in the bore, burnt barrel, rusting, corrosion and erosion, hang fire. Recoil of the weapon. The phenomena of backward push of the weapon is called recoil and kick is the effect of the recoil. When a cartridge gets fired, the propellant burns and produces a large volume of gas which exerts pressure in all direction within the combustion chamber. The pressure on the bore of bullet propels it out of the bore. The pressure on the side expands the case to the limit that it is a tight fit against the chamber wall and the pressure on the base of the cartridge case makes the whole weapon move in the backward direction and the shooter gets a kick. The phenomena of weapon getting a backward push opposite to the direction of the projectile is recoil and the shooter will get a kick on fire. The entire episode is governed by the Newton's third law of motion which states that to every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In terms of mathematics, it is expressed that momentum of bullet and momentum of gun are equal and opposite. That is, mv is equal to m1 v1. m represents the mass of the gun. v represents the velocity of recoil, M1 represents the mass of the projectile, V1 represents the velocity of the projectiles. It indicates that weapon and the bullet will have equal velocities if both of them have equal weight or mass. In actual practice, the weapon has weight 300 times the weight of bullet. Hence, the weapon recoils with a velocity which is very small, 1 by 300 of the velocity of bullet, in comparison to the velocity of bullet. It is on this account that a gun is held tightly against the shoulder so that a part of body weight is added to the weapon with the result that the recoil gets considerably reduced further. If, however, a shoulder firearm is held loosely in contact, the recoil can bruise the shoulder. It has already been discussed that the recoil velocity V can be calculated when mass M of the weapon is known along with velocity V1 of the bullet and its mass M1 using mv is equal to m1 v1 or v is equal to m1 v1 by m.
In other words, the recoil velocity of gun equals the bullet velocity times the bullet mass divided by the mass of the gun. Example, a gun weighing 2 pounds firing a 158 gram bullet at velocity 860 feet per second will have recoil velocity of gun equal to 860 into 158 by 700 into half where 1 pound is equal to 700 gram is equal to 9.7 feet per second which is the recoil velocity of gun. In these calculations one thing which has not been taken into consideration and neglected is the mass of propellants. In cartridges loaded with nitrocellulose propellant, the mass is very small and adds little to the overall figure. However, the mass is considerably greater and the effect quite pronounced when cartridge is loaded with black powder. This illustrates why a cartridge loaded with black powder propellant will give much greater recoil energy than one with the same bullet mass and bullet velocity but loaded with nitrocellulose propellant. In simple terms, the recoil velocity is the factor which makes a gun unpleasant to shoot. The higher the recoil velocity, the greater the discomfort. The figure of 15 feet per second was given long back in 1929 as the highest recommended recoil velocity of a rifle. Above this figure, gun headache would be experienced. Elements of recoil There are three main causes due to which recoil of the weapon takes place and they are 1. Muzzle velocity of the projectiles consisting of forward motion of ejector consisting of bullet, wads and powder residue particles. The more the velocity of ejector, the greater the recoil of the weapon. Second, the motion of outgoing gases. Third, the muzzle blast which pushes the firearm backward in the same manner as the blast propels a jet aeroplane or a rocket. About 50% of the contribution towards the recoil of the weapon of the projectile is made by the motion of projectile. About 10% or by the motion of gases and about 40% by the muzzle blast. Measurement of recoil of firearm. There are several methods used by manufacturers of firearms for measuring the recoil of a firearm. A. Use of high-speed camera. A high-speed camera is used to note the recoil velocity or backward movement velocity of the firearm suspended from fine wires when fired. B. Ballistics pendulum method. The firearm is fixed to a ballistics pendulum and fired. The moment of the pendulum is measured and recoil velocity ascertained from the momentum. C. Dynamometer method. Compression of a spring or depth of indentation in lead is measured by a dynamometer and compared with a standard or known compressions or indentations. A gun of about 50 pounds weight is suspended from wires of about 10 feet length and fired. The arc made by the gun after firing is noted and used for calculating the recoil. Recoil less guns. Such guns do not exhibit any recoil since the same has been completely eliminated by the technique described. The cartridge case for such a gun is perforated with a number of holes. The chamber size is considerably increased and made much larger than the cartridge. 
the chamber and the breech have a large number of holes with controlled directional outlets. The outcoming gas jets thereby take definite directions so that the rotation of the gun due to rotation of the projectile inside the barrel is compensated. Proper adjustment of holes which ensures that the gun is propelled forward by the jets only to that extent which will neutralize the backward movement due to recoil. Thus, the recoil phenomena becomes absent and the gun does not show any recoil. The recoil can be reduced. If the cut compensators are used, most of the recoil due to the blast is eliminated. Muzzle brake devices can also reduce the recoil of the firearm. Recoil and Crime Investigation Recoil has played a very important role in criminal investigation in cases of suicide as well as homicide. The improvised and homemade 12-bore guns, pipe guns, are frequently used by criminals using standard ammunition. Many times, they cause injuries to shooters who get identified from the position of injuries and their characteristics. Novices in the crime using either standard or non-standard 12-bore guns for the first time is likely to get injured during the process of the recoil, especially when the gun is fired with a loose contact with his body. The telltale recoil injuries thus form important evidence. At times, the pipe guns, improvised weapons, burst resulting in injuries to the shooters because of inadequate strength of the barrel. Pipe gun The suspect shooter gets identified very easily. Thus, it becomes clear that recoil of the weapon plays an important role in criminal investigation. Hence, the ballistic experts need to understand recoil of weapons to assist investigators at the scene of crime and with examination of firearms in forensic laboratories. Barrel Failures Obstruction Hatcher has reported cases of high-powered rifles being blown up by firing new weapons without the thick grease in the bore although they were not having any manufacturing defect in them. In a case reported from rural area of Muzaffarpur district, an elephant ran amok. A young licensee took out his shotgun and fired at the rouge with cartridges loaded with pellets. The pellets were unable to stop the elephant and as a result, the elephant started chasing the shooter. In an attempt to save himself, he ran but fell down with his gun during which a quantity of mud got stuck towards the muddle end of the weapon. He got up again and fired the gun, which on account of obstruction in the barrel got burst. The elephant thereafter crushed the shooter under his feet. Rusting or Corrosion the life of a high-powered rifle barrel is expressed in terms of the number of rounds it is capable of shooting without affecting the accuracy. This number is 3000 to 5000. The stipulated capacity of barrel is reduced by neglect or careless handling resulting at times in accidents. Rusting or corrosion from lack of cleaning is the frequent cause which shortens the life of a barrel. Damage from improper cleaning ranks next. Rusting is oxidation and therefore a slow combustion. Corrosion is the phenomena of disintegration of metal by electrochemical reaction or by direct chemical attack. Atmospheric corrosion is an example of chemical reaction. Gases in the atmosphere, especially around industrial area, affect the metal in general and barrels. High atmospheric humidity will cause rusting. Erosion Erosion in a rifle barrel is due to 
the effects of thermal and mechanical stresses and the jet effects of hot powder gases which accentuate the mechanical stresses to wash metal away. Thus, the bullet may yaw slightly hitting the rifle at an angle and this distorts and upsets it. Yawning affects the stability of the bullet in flight and accuracy is disturbed. The effect of erosion results in loss of grouping ability at long range. AO 300 Magnum rifle was manufactured out of chrome molybdenum steel and use of one a gun 1000 yards bull gun with maximum powder charge. The throw diameter adjacent to the chamber neck had been eroded and the original diameter of 0.309 inches had been enlarged to 0.345 inches. The maximum portion of the throat also got enlarged. The whole throat was roughened, reached and burnt black like charred wood. Hang fire a hang fire can be defined as the unusual time interval in the functioning of a propelling charge at the time of firing. The amount of delay is unpredictable, but in most of the cases will fall within the range of a fraction of a second to a few minutes. A hang fire cannot be distinguished from a misfire. In a case reported from the rural area of one of the states of India, an enthusiastic teacher borrowed the gun of a local zamindar with the sole intention of showing respect to the national flag after its hoisting on an independent day, 15th August. He loaded the weapon with a live cartridge, pointed the muzzle towards the sky and snapped the trigger. The cartridge failed to fire. He immediately made the gun horizontal, presumably to extract the cartridge out of the gun for reloading another cartridge. The gun fired and a boy standing in front of it got killed. It was a case of hang fire and the teacher had no idea about a hang fire. Precautions In cases of hang fire and misfire, the gun should never be opened immediately after one notices it to be a case of hang fire misfire. The shooter would be patient and wait for some time. How long should he wait is a question. The answer to the question is not definite but it must be less than a minute in any case but preferably be a few minutes. While opening the gun, it must be ensured that nobody is in front of the muzzle of the weapon. Summary Internal ballistics is the study which deals with the motion of a projectile projectiles in the bore of the weapon. There are three factors which affects the internal ballistics, recoil of the weapon, barrel failure and hang fire. The phenomena of backward push of the weapon is called recoil and kick is the effect of the recoil. Barrel failure is caused due to obstruction in the bore, rusting, corrosion or erosion. A hang fire is the unusual time interval in the functioning of a propelling charge at the time of firing.